subscribe smartic magic's channel and hit the bell icon beside it and on the bell icon select all to watch latest tech videos before anyone else hello friends myself darshan kumar dash once again welcome back to my youtube channel smart tech magics in my previous video i had briefly explained all the python modules that are required for this project and also i had shown how to install all those modules using anaconda prompt as well as command prompt in the easiest possible method if you haven't watched that video then please watch it either from i button or from link description as because this video is the sequel of that one now in this video i'm going to show you how to run that code using six different python softwares and seven different methods and also i will explain the whole code in brief so without any further delay let's move to the computer screen okay so now i'm in the computer screen now i'm going to show how to run the code in these six different python software so the first i will try to run the code using this software which is ideally python 3.7 then visual studio code then anaconda prompt then pycharm then spider and at last anaconda powershell after then i will also try to run the code with the regular command prompt so first let me try to run the code with this one So Python 3, ideally Python 3.7 opened. Now we'll open it. Now I will have to open the code, which is not nothing but here. This is it. Now to run the code. Now I need to register myself because you can see total registration till now it's zero. Registering, writing my name. It will take some time to take images. See, it's taking images. I'm registering different formats. Now I need to save the profile. I'm entering the password. So you can see it saves profile saved successfully. Now let me take the attendance. Oh, you can see my name is displayed here. So that's it for this one. I mean for this application. Now we'll run the same code using Visual Studio Code. By the way, Visual Studio Code needs an interpreter. Oh, it's already here, I think. I'm opening the file in Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code also needs an interpreter, which is Python 3.7, which is this one as you can see. Now this is the code, sorry. Now we'll run it here also. As you can see, the interpreter is completely here, Python 3.7.9. So let me try to run the code here. I think it will run. Now, as I have already saved my profile, I have already registered myself. So I'm simply taking the attendance.
it will open after some time i mean after few minutes see it's open and it's taking my attendance good so i'm closing visual studio code as well now we'll run the code using anaconda prompt so i'm opening it the required folder is in i drive so i'm typing i then colon enter now i need to specify the location of the folder where the code is present now i came here now i will copy it Control C copy and Control V paste. Now we'll just type here Python Sorry the spelling is wrong on M A I N dot PY main dot PY is the Python file name using which all the thing is happening which you have seen just now anyways now i will simply take the attendance because i have already registered myself It's showing fine. You can see along with my name, my ID, my and date and time all are stored. These all are also stored in the Excel sheet, which I will show you later. Now closing Anaconda prompt as well. Now we'll run the code using PyCharm software. By the way, running the code in Python software is very difficult. It has a lot of compatibility issues, but I have already fixed it. And very soon I will make a video on it that how I fixed all those compatibility issues. This Python software also needs an interpreter. It's saying no interpreter, but we need to assign an interpreter. I'm assigning this one. Hopefully it will run fine. Although it says Python 3.8. But actually it's off. If we consider system interpreter, then it this thing comes out. Run the code it's something installing out here that's why it's taking some time to run the code now i can run the code hopefully and it will run without any issues
wow it's running now i have to take the attendance only because i have already registered myself it will take some time thank god it's taking my attendance as you can see now i'm closing the pycharm software now we'll run the same code using spider spider software takes some time to open the code but it will work out fine the code is already here ignore the message i will not update now i will update it later on Now we'll run the code. It's running here. So as you can see, now we'll just take the attendance because I have already registered. It's taking some time, but don't worry, it will come. See it came. Spider is slightly heavy software for that's why it's showing it's anyways. Now I'm closing the spider software as well. Now I will run the code using Anaconda PowerShell, but for that I need to do some tweaks out here. I've already made a separate drive for running the code in PowerShell. I will delete all these things permanently. And now I will copy all the files from here. I mean these files. Copy it. And paste on this drive without any folder now that's it what's the directory by the way okay it's j so i'm opening anaconda powershell prompt j Colon. Now I'm running the code here. So I'm simply taking the attendance because already registered. Attendance is taken 2647, 1226. Closing Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Now we'll try to run the code using command prompt. No, sorry. No, it's in J. Yeah, 
because I have copied all the folders from I drive to J drive so it's J now let me see oh it ran so fast crazy fast now let me take the attendance smoothly taking the attendance without any errors now let me close it so finally we run the code of the face recognition based attendance monitoring system using seven different methods using six python software and one with the command prompt and after running with all of these the best application which i feel the best to run these codes are spider software and anaconda prompt these two are the best i feel to run the code because in these two software you don't need to initialize any python interpreter or something like that because it itself is an interpreter of itself so anyways now let me start to explain the code as i already told that i will explain the whole code now i'm going to briefly explain the code so let me open the code in this case i am using visual studio code to open the code i think the code is already here still i will open it in my way now let's start explaining the code now here line 2 to line 12 this part of the code is for importing all the necessary modules that are used in this project now let's move to the next part of this code now here in this part that is from line 16 to line 19 this part of the code is used to define the seo directory part with which the code execution takes place basically these are functions using which all directories are assigned now let's move to the next part now this part of the code that is from line 23 to line 26 this part of the code is used to define the time of the code execution that is the exact time when the attendance is taken and the time displayed on the code execution i mean on the output of the code execution let me show you that also because of the line 23 to 26 you can see this time now let's move to the next part of the code now this part that is from line 30 to 31 this part of the code is assigned to contact the developer of this code i mean if you are facing any problem or if due to some reason the code is not running you can contact the developer of this code who is this Shubham Kumar whatever the name is he is the real developer of this code you can contact him if you are facing any problems and this part is assigned to contact the developer as I already told now now moving to the next part which is from line 35 to line 41 this part of the code is used to check the presence of harkascad file now harkascad what is harkascad i had already told in the previous video if you don't know then please watch my previous video there i had explained what is harkascad file now moving to the next part that is from line 45 to line 75 sorry line 45 to line 75 this part of the code is used for new registrations that is for registering new faces thereby taking 101 live images with respect to different positions of the person along with the person's name and id and then its profile is saved thereby entering the correct password Now moving to the next part of the code that is from line 79 to line 105 this part of the code 
is used for changing password for new registration i mean the developer of this code has done this so that we can easily change the password through the output of the code now moving to the next part that is from line 109 to line 130 this part of the code is used for checking if we have entered correct password or not while saving new profile i mean new registrations or whatever you would like to say i mean this part of the code is basically used to detect whether we have entered a correct password while doing new registrations now anyways let's move to the next part the next part is that is from line 134 to line 143 line 134 to line 143 this part of the code is used to create the option for taking image and saving its profile while doing new registration now let's move to the next part which is line 147 to line 205 line 147 to line 205 this part of the code is used for taking images of new persons thereby typing name and id and store its details in excel sheet as csv format now moving to the next part that is from line 209 line 209 to line 224 this part of the code is used for training images thereby checking the harkascade file while doing new registrations thereby storing the images in a folder named training image and stores the password in a folder named training image label now moving to the next part which is line 228 to line 246 this part of the code is used to assign the part of all the files in folder that contains the empty face or an empty id list and then looping all images paths and loading all the ids and images now moving to the next part of the code which is from line 250 to line 330 line 250 to line 330 this part of the code is used to track images while taking the attendance through this part it detects if the person whose attendance is taken is known or not that is it checks if his or her face is registered or not if registered then the person's name will show by the side of the person's face while image tracking then on pressing q the attendance will be taken and the attendance with date and time will be stored in the form of excel sheet in csv format now moving to the next part of this code that is from line 334 to line 353 line 334 to line 353 this part of the code is used for initializing the months from january to december to the project by using date time module now moving to the next part of the code that is from line 357 to line 423 line 357 to line 423 this part of the code is used for designing the GUI front end of the project basically through this part of the code the entire UI of the project output is designed which is this thing the design which you are seeing this is done basically through that part of the code which is line 357 to line 423 now moving to the next part of the code now the next part that is from line 427 to line 432 this part of the code is used for assigning the menu bar such as change password contact us and exit comments which we find in the help menu of the output screen that is this one this thing this thing is happening these things are is happening i mean these things are assigned because of this line 427 to 432 this part of the code is used to assign this thing which is help 
sub comments menu bar whatever you would like to say now moving to the next part of the code which is line 436 to line 445 this part of the code is used for making tree view attendance table that is basically to place the name date time of the attendance of a person in a proper table in excel sheet in csv format now moving to the next part of the code that is from line 449 to line 451 this part of the code is just to assign a scroll bar to the output of this code now moving to the next part of the code that is from line 455 to line 466 this part of the code is used for creating all the buttons in the output of the code such as clear take images save profile and quit buttons that is all the buttons which is these buttons are assigned because of that part of the code which is line 445 to line 466 now moving to the next and the last end part of this code which is this one line 470 to line 471 line 470 to line 471 this part of the code is the large last part and is nothing but it's just the end of the whole code and it's and this is the this is it this is the my explanation i have i hope my explanation is clear enough to all of you who are watching this video so that's it so i'm closing visual studio code I hope my explanation is clear to all of you. If you are still having any problem, any doubt, then feel free to comment down below. You can also mail me any problem, any doubt and I will try my best to clear it out. So that's it. That's the end of this video. Rather end of the entire series combining the first part of this one and this part. So that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching, if you like this video and find this video helpful then please hit the like button, like target is only 50, please help me to complete my target and if you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe it and tap the bell icon beside it and on the bell icon select all to watch my latest videos before anyone else. And if you are having any doubt regarding the code and all the thing what I have shown today then you feel free to comment down below. So once again thanks for watching, see you soon in my next video. Until then, stay happy, stay safe and goodbye.